Welcome or welcome back. Today's video is my February empties video. I do have makeup empties. It's not the biggest empties I've done. I will put the total value on the screen, but I do have two makeup products and a few skincare products. So I thought it'd still be worth showing. Um, if you want to see more empties videos, I have an empties playlist, but I do project panning and I've got a separate project pan playlist. So you can check that out for more. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. If you're interested in the makeup I'm wearing, I did film this look. It was a get ready with me using the new Nomad Ireland palette. It is beautiful and I really love this look. So you can check that out. I'll link it in the cards and let's get into the empties. So yeah, like I mentioned, it's not the most exciting empties video I've ever done. Um, but you know what? Progress was made and definitely the most exciting thing and the highest value item is this primer from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primerizer Hydrating Primer. This is lovely. They sent me this in PR in the past. I have purchased it myself. I would totally go out and buy this. I do have quite a few primers right now, but most of them are kind of more of the pore filling variety. So I don't really have any hydrating primers. So I'm thinking of buying this soon. Um, like I said, it's really good and I really love it. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, yes, you have seen me mention this so many times. I know if you've seen other empties videos, but it's my favorite sunscreen. And technically, I finished another one in February because we went to the Dominican Republic. My husband and I went to Punta Cana for a week and we finished one of these there. But I was like, I don't want to travel back with an empty sunscreen container. It's the Neutrogena Clear Face SPF 50. I love this and it does not break me out, which a lot of sunscreens do. And I buy it at Target usually. It's, I don't know, like $10.00. It's amazing. And I love SPF 50. I want to be wearing SPF 50 every day. And that's really good stuff. Okay, here's something that I liked. I don't know that I would buy this again. This is the Ordinary Argireline Solution 10%. You know, it's a serum. It says it targets the appearance of dynamic fine lines. Um, I think this is that thing where they call it like Botox in a bottle. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, did I really see a huge difference with this? Hard to say, like more than other serums, more than just kind of like other hydrating serums. I'm not sure. It's very, very liquid and watery. Um, I mean, I can't show you because it's all gone, but it's not like, like their hyaluronic serum is like a bit thicker. This is kind of feels like pure water. Um, I don't know. I didn't really see a lot. Have you guys tried this? I'm curious um, if you saw results. This was my first time trying it, so maybe I need to like keep using it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. But if you've tried that, I'm, I'm very curious. Um, okay, the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I know, I know. It's my favorite face wash. Like these two are just holy grails and I buy them over and over again. And I did do a skincare routine video. It was a YouTube short. Um, a lot of people have asked me about my skincare routine check out the YouTube short. It was sometime a couple months ago. Um, this is amazing. I love it. Yes, I repurchased. I mean, I have one of these on my bathroom sink and also one in the shower. It's just, it's the best face wash I've ever tried. So what can I say? And I do have another makeup empty, which is exciting. I finished the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation and this looks kind of like a mess, like the cap broke on it and it's it's a whole thing but i mean i scraped this all out i held it upside down for a while i had shade light 50w i do like this foundation it's very nice it's hydrating i have very normal skin but i would say it's not the most long wearing foundation um i prefer something to be a bit more long wearing so that's really my only complaint about this but it is lovely good nice medium coverage but yeah I do wish that it was more long wearing. I do have another bottle of this because they did send it to me in PR. So it's nice. Like I said, I have normal skin, but yeah, I wish it kind of lasted longer throughout the day. And last up, another skincare holy grail. And this is the bio oil, skincare oil. 
And this is funny because um, I mentioned in another empties video when I finished this, that this was so messy. And so many people were like, hey, why don't you decant it into something else? Genius. So that's what I did. I probably have like this much left. So I had an empty container similar to this one and I just poured it in there. I was like, you guys are so smart. Like, why did I not think of that? Because it leaks so bad and gets like all over in my bathroom. So thank you. You guys always have good ideas for me. I really appreciate it. So this is marketed towards scars, stretch marks, it says aging and dehydrated skin, uneven skin tone. I use this, I started using it because um, it has vitamin E oil in it. And I mentioned in another video that I read online that vitamin E oil can help with skin tags. And I have like small skin tags on the edge of my eye here. And from using this, they're almost completely gone, which is amazing. Um, yeah, there's like a little bit of one there left, but it's pretty mild. Pretty cool, right? Um, and then I also just noticed it's so hydrating. Like this oil is amazing. So this is the larger size. I bought it on Amazon. I think it's like $20 and it's 4.2 fluid ounces. It lasted a while. Like I said, I didn't completely finish this. I still have like this much left, but it's in a different container. But I thought I would just, you know, include it now. Um, but I'm thrilled that I have two makeup empties and this is $42. So that really helps my yearly empties for the year. This foundation costs, I think, $14. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this. Hey, February is a short month, so not terrible, but I'm glad that I have some empties. And like I said, I filmed this makeup look. You can check that out. I will link it in the cards um, and probably in the description box too. How did your empties go this month? How's your project panning? I did not update the deck of panning this last month because I really did not have progress on that project. So I'll just wait till the next update. Um, but yeah, definitely got to do some project pan updates coming up soon. And yeah, I've just been having fun. I love makeup. It's, it's fun. It really is. And I love skincare too, but I definitely don't experiment that much with skincare. Like when I find something that works, obviously like this, I just keep buying it over and over again. Same with the sunscreen. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Um, how did your empties go this month? And yeah, check out the other videos that I mentioned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.